best of five. They will get, as we saw earlier, two guaranteed moving games. And I think for both of these players, this is exactly what they want. Two players that are very, very confident when it comes to moving. Yeah, I mean, I mean, let's look at Kratz here for a second. This guy took down Blinky in the moving game. Which so, is unheard of. Yeah, so then if you beat Kratzu in moving, then you beat Blinky in I'm just kidding. So if so if Kratzu beats Blinky and Kodiak beats Kratzu, does that mean that Kodiak's better than Blinky? Well, let's find out. Let's find out. Moving. We will see as we head into the first round of this best of five. This will be starting in looks like the USA, but also looks like Canada. Therefore okay. we'll probably be on the border. Bit of distance. Maybe between these two picks, we can see. We have US flag there. You probably go northeast. You probably go. Curious, curious to see how fast Kodiak is going to come out of the gate here. Because yes, we've heard he's a bit code? sick, but even with that, he kicked off the game very, very quickly. We do see a main guess previous match by Kratzu. Yeah, and both players should get there. We'll see. Yeah, this will be. I mean, for those tuning in, these are some of the best moving players in the world. So you almost expect them to get the exact road a lot of the time, or at yeah. least a close region with so much information available. But Kodiak taking his time, pondering around here. He found a garage. And we have Kratzu locking in, confidently. Locking in early on. Kodiak in the very much nearby vicinity, and with no multipliers added so far, this should be minimal damage. Unless we've They're seen it before. They're pretty far apart, and you have to assume Kratzu is closer. Yeah, and he's, and he's continuing to move mate. further away. Continuing to move further away, it is up towards the north. A little bit of damage coming through there. 400 to start things off. Not too crazy. Not too crazy as we move in. We saw it. We saw it yesterday and a bit earlier today as well, where Kodiak gets the initial read on point, like his gut feeling is there, but then second guesses himself and ends up moving away from the favorite location. Kratz, so I feel like he's playing a bit slower, taking a little more time to make sure that his initial guess, like once he puts down the pin, he knows that's where he's staying. Exactly. This will probably be smaller points if those players scan for information and what looks like to me Rwanda but we'll see either of the two up thing to go for a quick pick as I say that Kodak zooms in quickly Rwanda is where he's headed is he, that he found the city it? he found this wait who's yeah Muhanga district I thought, yeah. looking for Muhanga any Muhangas yeah. in the chat wait did Kodak just not see that he saw it there he found it he scanned it over Maybe it, there it is second. there it is he's looking for the specific road now might as well what? fight K if you get the time to Will be zero points for both players. Yeah, you'd imagine. Oh, man. It's going but to be very close. It is a 5k for both of them. A wow. 10k in the club here as they both go head to head. You said it. They're some of the best moving players in the world and they're proving it on the grand stage. And that is exactly what we expected to see here. And we move into what looks like Belgium. Let's see. It could be France. Um, Kretsu. Gonna make his way east, zooming into Belgium. So what we're looking for here is to find yourself a nice little street with more information. Mm -hmm. Out of the industrial area, preferably out some of the main roads. A lot of uh, towns to be seen, to be read the names of once you get out there. But once again, it seems like Kodiak kind of stuck in the <laughs> in, in, in the production same area. Exact intersection yep. here in they're the following exact same each time. Other. It's also it's interesting to see how when there Locked are multiple in. directions they can go that as two different style moving players to still end up going down the exact same road. Kodiak going north this time looking for information. Is he going back to the start to try and 5k? And Alright, got time, 3 seconds, 2, 1, they're nearby one another, didn't get the exact info on it, neither of them completely on point as we're in between Antwerp and Eindhoven. 500 damage towards Kodiak as Kratzo remains untouched. Downtown Netherlands border, let's keep it going. This one looks like Baltic. What do you do here? You go uh, Estonia, maybe? I, do. I looked at that flag and thought it was somewhere completely different. Oh, look at those guys. Look at those lads on the street view. We've all been there. You're saying hi to the camera, correct? Yeah. Not one to acknowledge it. That's oh, okay. Wow, okay. Okay, okay. See how it is. See how it is. Looking for any sort of information here. There's plenty of it. It's about sorting it out, figuring out which is actually going to be helpful and which is just a ton of names of various shops and street names. And we do see Kodiak zooming into Estonia here, and he found a city that he's going to lock in. What does that mean? Ooh, Wait, oh, okay. Kratzo, you can't, the, the you can't do this. They both found the city. You can't do this. They're both on point. Are we going back to 5Ks once again? Could potentially be. They're too far away apart. We'll yeah, that's close by. 
regardless again look at this i mean once again a tight game these guys i mean the death said it it's going to be hard to predict it's going to be hard to call a winner and these guys are showing us why they're playing completely head to head right now this is a free south africa for both players obviously and South Africa is very easy to 5k for both these players because there's so much really infor like information with signs. See a river but there, a lot of open hard spaces problem too. is finding that sign. Who can find it first? And Kodak is going east. Both players. Kodak is doing the little trick here where you can move the mouse or move the game and also open up the map at the same time. As he starts scanning, it's a two for one special there. Is that the one where it's dangerous that you accidentally lock something in if you have your pin down already? Yeah, as we saw that happen last year in the finals. When you release your space bar, right? If you actually press, if you place a pin and press, you make a guess. So if you do want to opt to go for this fast moving play style when you're playing moving games, everyone out there, uh, make sure that if you have a pin down already, not committed to, but kind of locked down, that you uh, that you, you you worry a little bit more. Be careful. Yeah, scanning for bridges now. They're going to be east west, seeing if he can make anything that lines up. And Kratzu doesn't. He's there's separate regions of South Africa here. Ooh, well, three separate times multiplier. Regions. Three times Big multiplier. Point. This is going to be huge, and it's going to be Kratzu who's closest. Is it going to be enough to take him all the way yeah. down? Yes, it is. Kodiak loses the first. Kratzu up 1 0. As a flawless victory there for Kratzu. Huge. Absolutely huge. A 5k, a 4997 to tie with Kodiak. Even when Kodiak had phenomenal games, Kratzer was there too. And here in the final one, he beats him to it. And that's an interesting region guess there by Kodiak. Yeah. It's one of those things where maybe sometimes you read something that sends you one direction and you, you hone in on that information yes. and ignore everything else. True. True. Sometimes you do end up getting, uh, getting blinded by all the trees in the woods. Let's see now if... Things are going to be any different as we take these players, not out of their comfort zone, but at least out of their favorite play style as we move over to no move. Yes, and we saw, we saw earlier in the interview, both players said they feel like they're equal yeah. along all game modes. Yeah. Let's see if that's the case here. As Kratzu's up 1-0 without losing any points. Oh, now we can't even move forward to see if that building is going to be finished with the painting as mm. we move further. That's unlucky. Maybe you can save the location afterwards and go find out. <laughs> we'll see. Look at that. It's just a good, good set of paint. This is a beautiful location, though. It is. It really is. There's something magical about being in a valley surrounded by mountains. Like yeah. That. You feel so small, but at the same time, it's just like that. That's where you really feel like I'm seeing the entire Kretsu world. Kretsu so knows, knows it's northern Slovenia here. We have the Slovenian Wait, signs that Kodak also saw south or north there. And... He's going northern Slovenia too with the mountains north. Close Makes by. Sense. Close by. Low. Just, well, zero. Multiplier, really. As we see here. Oh, They're oh. next to one another. Close. Kodiak actually really close in the correct city. Bro. 4999. 54 damage over towards Kratzo. He said, hey, listen, let me cook. He got this. He got this. Didn't even have to zoom in that far to lock it down either. This is an intriguing. It looks like Canada. We'll see. Could be something crazy. I'm not sure where I place this one. And oh. Kodak goes to line the road up in Yukon. Ooh, far up towards the northwestern edge, yeah? I give a vi I give uh Both there, both there. Both players in Yukon. And you can see when you look at we look down the road like that, you can tell, and we have a lock in by Kratzu. Oh, They're both on Kodak. the same road, but different parts of the road here. And Kodak is looking for an Small angle on the road to see what lines up first, and it's actually oh. gonna be Kratzu that's closer. Kratzu closer when you're that far in. I mean there's so many roads that are gonna look alike. And Kodiak, just a bit far off to the north, will take the hit down to 5,300 health. Let's keep the pace high. Are we in France? Not going to be the one to tell you that. I mean, the flag in the front should, but that's again a pitfall that that's somebody falls into. You see a you flag, you instantly just go France, and then you go, wait a minute, that was average, the hotel. Uh, yeah, that's, that'll be the average. The average Toby move, is that what you're yeah, about to say? I was gonna, yeah, the average <laughs> player that just started playing. But we're driving left here, and France does not drive left, and we also have That's a good call. That is a phenomenal read for those of you guys like out there. Make sure not just to go off your initial lunge. before, but this back of the car here that Kodiak is looking at to your uh, west here, you know, that's the electric car that's usually found near Dublin, but I think it's exceeded that now because it's not, it does not look like Dublin, but it is common in Ireland, maybe near Dublin. Maybe you go north, because I have seen the car north as well. But uh, shout out to Ireland for uh, being proactive and having electrical vehicles for their yeah, true, car. true. Guinness, Heineken, sponsored up there on the left side as well. We'll see if uh, that leads into any of the judgment by Kodiak. Still has yet to commit to the pick. Crowd so too. As they look for any additional info. It's uh, again an area with plenty of info to be found. But oh, how did they come down to it? They're far on each side, but it's going to be Kratzo once again closest 800 damage as we now, I feel like, move into territory where these distances are going to be, I mean, game-defining. Yes. 
Oh, beautiful. Ac beautiful. Actually gorgeous. This so is this like one of those, if you were to go to a deserted island alone with no internet sort of situation. Kodiak looks this. sad over his performance there, but he's going to still lock in. Fun fact about Kodiak is that he, you know, last year when he uh, lost early in the World Cup, he was kind of very sad uh, after because he played a lot to grind. And he said, yeah. you know what? He took like a couple of weeks vacation before this World Cup. He said, you know what? Less is more. And he's, playing, and yeah. he's playing out of his mind right now. So sometimes relying on, you know, your Grinding background more. knowledge. You can't just keep playing matches. You have to also practice sometimes, you know? It's not all about just grinding, 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 grinding. You have to sit down and study the matches you've played to see where you can improve, to see what you could have done differently as you move into the next games. And these guys, of course, very, very proficient at analyzing every single match they play. Yes. Quite literally. And both players obviously know it's not right here. So they're scanning for something that lines up here. But how just close take an we? island in Norway for a hit. I mean, it's not like there are so many of them. Yeah, true. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see who's going to be on point. They are a bit apart, but not that yeah, much. And it's Grasso again. The small steps as Kodiak takes yet another 200 damage. It's not over yet. It's best of five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Far from over. So many points, both games. We're going to bring ourselves back to the U.S. here. And what looks like we have some Southern Pines here. And presumably just Georgia would be my educated guess here. Shout out to Ray Charles. Mm. Shout out to RC. If you know, you know. Both players. Hopefully it is Georgia. That'd be my bet. It could be like a weird, like... Let me zoom on this. What is this? Can't tell, actually. That's a Chevrolet in the distance. Could be, it's, something, it's, something Georgia, south. it's something south. <laughs> both players are going to get the US here, and they're both going to go southern. US. Fact, not where the, you got you got street signs you got your your lands but no like no city indicators no nothing of the sort we have no front plates on the cars there no These? front plates usually mean more southern and if we do have an alabama guess here by or at least zoom in here by kodiak and we have a mississippi alabama hedge here by kratzu but i give this guess to kodiak if the foliage here is pretty widespread around all of he's going more west city right yeah exactly so that's gonna, gonna be close in between him potentially we'll see three times multiply he's gonna move more gonna east. Get it. They don't know. Oh, both going they Alabama. Stick to it. They stick to it. Don't want to risk too much. And it was actually further out towards the east. It was in Georgia, as you correctly said there. Rainbow. 300 damage. 300 damage. Kratzo, not immortal after all. Southern US is kind of a toss up. Mm hmm. That's moving around six. And we'll get another opportunity here. We move forward. Focus has to remain full on for these two players. This one is far from decided. We're back in the States. The question is. Where do you go here? You know, it's going to be Southern again, surely. Uh, where? Despair. I just go down to Baumbach Street. True. Yeah. I mean, why not just 5k it if you can, you know? Yeah, exactly. Right next yeah. to Hatterman Road. I mean, just zoom in. Aware. <laughs> That's it. That is exactly I We'll see if Kratz is going to be able to find it. I like the Oklahoma call out. I feel like it's Oklahoma or Texas. Yeah. I mean, two big states to try and, uh, and narrow down Texas in particular. It's a lot of zooming weird to be Texas, done, and you only have 25 seconds left to do it. We have an Arkansas guess here. Not sure. Arkansas. Arkansas. Let's see. Barn in the distance. Not could really be. giving could be. the info that he's looking for. Either 10 seconds to go. Down towards Tennessee. Nope. It's going to be over towards Arkansas for Kodiak up on the border. Both players so close again, but could be big points, especially with these multis. Who's going to get it? It's, it's going to be south. Texas right in between Houston and San Antonio. And the damage is once again going to hit over towards Kodiak. But again, it's these small, small That's hits. And now with the multiplier up to four times coming in the next round. Both players are going to be upset with their guesses there. Exactly. You, you have to, Looks like we might even have the Texas pavement there. There has been chances for both of them to really get far ahead here. But now we're going well, somewhat Look at Kratz too. Look how dis Why is he look so distraught? Maybe it's again. I mean, he knows he's ahead right now. He could have been ahead by even more, potentially even won the game had he gone. Yeah, Texas we have the Ghana so. tape here. Both players are going to look for a road that makes sense in Ghana because it's going to be more north with his vegetation and like low dense trees. And Kodak is going to line the road up here, slightly east-west road. With two players that are so exceptionally skilled, you know you're only going to get a certain amount of chances at getting not free wins, but like where the opponent's going to be far off. Kodak looking for the intersection east, and he thinks he might have found it. I think Kodak just 5 k oh, He found see. the intersection east. Both players are very similar. Yeah, this it is going to be a be low point again. In. We'll see. Unless if Kratzer goes far off and away and dislikes the position he's currently in, this should be a low point game. Let's see who's going to get the exact position locked down. Even more ease for Kodiak. 
either. Or close ones again. I mean, again, <laughs> those streets pretty much parallel. So uh, no wonder why Kodak didn't log in where he did. Quite literally. And we move on to round eight. And this is where multis get high, and you're sure kind of aiming for any single point you can here. 4.5 multiplier. Kodiak needs to start trying to 5k. I feel like if it's one of the more obvious positions. Not that he hasn't been, but if he wants to get Kratzo down, either you need one where he's miles off, or you need to start chipping in with only two left, two rounds left to play. Yeah, and this is a. I think Kratzo is just 5king right here. I mean, it's, it's just like Northern Peru Terpo, though. Surely. Um, not sure. I mean, it's definitely north somewhere, and we see both players kind of up here in the same region. Yep. Kodiak zooming in. So is Kratzo. That would bring us. Kodiak is shaking his head a bit, though. Not too sure that he likes what he's seeing. He was in the nearby vicinity for a moment. Now, zooms out once again, goes further down towards the south. This is, again, we've seen it before where Kodiak second guesses his initial thought. The times he's gone off his initial thought has actually come to cost him. We'll see now if it does so here as well. With 10 seconds left on the clock, no one's locking in their guesses just yet. This could be something. Here it could. Five How seconds. Are they? They're holding it all the way till the end. Kratzo, hands on his head, worried it's that it could go wrong, and it was further south than they though. initially were in. 2,800 points. And he has 800 points in a dream left it's one, before he's down 0-2. Once again, Kodiak, he was up there, didn't like it, went further south, and it comes to cost him. And what better, or what worse way to lose? Yeah. Oh, that is flat. It's flat, and then it's but it's also <laughs> easy. I mean, you say that. What makes it easy? Tell me. It's yellow outer lines, black car, Jordan. Both players. There you go. Kodiak can lose 800 points here. He needs to lock in here. Kratzu is going to go for the 5k here to pick up as many points as he possibly he can. To. Toby. The beautiful Jordanian desert. We'll see who comes out victorious here. Kratzu down to just 800 points. If he finds it early, you'd have to or want to lock it in quickly for him. But now it's already too late. Kratzu is looking for the specific street here as well, as we will be most likely making our way into round 10 in just a moment, in which, unless if Kratzu makes a big mistake here, which it doesn't seem like he will, Kodiak is going to be in trouble. They're going to be so close. Who is it going to be enough? Five seconds. Who's going to get it? If you can get just a thousand points off here if you're Kodiak for Kratzo, that would be absolutely huge. But let's see who's going to get it. They oh are God. practically on point. Yet another 10k for these two mastermind moving players. It comes down to this, doesn't it? I'm, I'll set the stage real quick, Toby. Go for it, bro. It's going into round 10. It's the last round <laughs> of this game. Mm -hmm. Kodiak down 0-1. Looking to tie it. 1-1. Mm -hmm. Going down 0-2. It's not very good. It sure isn't. You'd much rather be 1-1. One, one. Kratzu is hoping for a small country, small points, because if he loses anything more than 40, you know, a couple 4,000 points here, mm -hmm. GG's. True. Kodiak needs a big country. He needs a big one. You know what's a big country? Give, give it. The USA. Boom. There we go. Is it an identifiable USA, though, becomes the question now, because even just with the region correct, Kratzu could be safe, but let's see. Okay, so let's I think we could... It. I, I hope no one looks at that yellow plate and goes like New Jersey on this. That would be. Cars yeah. can travel, remember. Cars oh, we have an Oregon travel. sign there. We have an Oregon sign. Do they see it? I hope they both know the Oregon sign there. This is, so Oregon doesn't use when limit on their. Quickly. Maybe start you saw standing it Oregon. Look. It's instant lock Oregon. Kodiak looked in the direction and then went further. They both see it. Just Aware. the viewers, where is the sign exactly? No. Kratz who's throwing! Oh, Kratz, he's not throwing. sure. Not sure. He's not the throwing. The info is there. He's going far oh west now. God. There is the Oregon. He's trying to play with us. He's playing with us now, looking towards the bus stop. Maybe there's an indicator. And if he stays there, exactly. it's not going to be winnable for Kodiak. Kodiak has yet to lock in. He needs a miracle play to happen here in order to be able to make this into a 1 1. He is going to go it. west. He, he is going to go Oregon. Eugene is where it's he's not headed. Winnable. It's not winnable. The distance is simply not big enough, even with the 5.5k. But now let's see who's going to get it. I mean, yeah, that's GG's. And if Kodiak maybe just sent earlier, should have locked it earlier. off guard. Yep, he had the time there. As you said too, Kratzo was in doubt for a moment. Maybe if you pressured him to only have those 15 seconds, maybe he wouldn't have noticed. Maybe exactly. his mind would have been elsewhere, but didn't commit early enough. And that's gonna take Kratzo to two and zero, moving once again into a moving round. I mean, yeah, this is it. This comes down to moving, and Kratzu has to feel nice it's knowing he's one win away.
from making the finals in that one game, separating him, is a moving game. But honestly, at the same time, this is where we could easily just flip the script completely. We saw how close they were. They both had 5Ks. They both had 4997Ks in the previous moving game. They're both equally capable of taking this one home. But now it's a ride of momentum. They're sat right next to each other in the studio. They have the music popping. They know the entire world is watching. On whose shoulder is the biggest level of pressure and who can cope with it? Let's find out. Let's find out. Back to moving we go. It's game number three. This could be a winning match for Kratzo if he brings it home 3-0 over Kodiak. Well, if you want to do the reverse sweep, it starts here. It starts now. This will be a moving game for the centuries right here. Iceland instantly zoomed on to by Kratzo. Kodiak still wanting more info as he full speed sends it down the streets. Both players obviously know it's Iceland and Kratzo find the information first here. And he will use that. And you know you're up against another He's amazing moving player, so you want to live in his opportunity to get info. If you find something niche, a small spot, a small sign, don't think your opponent has it, might as well just send it, hope for the best. Because as you can see here, Kodiak resets once more, doesn't like what he's seeing, but now both in the nearby vicinity, they're going to lock it in. And Kratzu. oh, Kratzu, I think that's a 5k, no, close there too though. And if I know anything about Kodiak, so this man likes Indonesia. Well, let's give it to him. Let's see if he can bring it home. And if he registers it quickly, go for the fast send. We've seen him do it before, and it's actually been on his quick locks. I don't know if he will. But it, I mean, it, it is a pretty dangerous time it's to a start dangerous. quick locking. But as a, but as and a we actually that, see the exact opposite here. And we see Kratzu taking the information in and thinking about it. As Looking back at Kodiak's previous duels, it's been the times where he's locked in Kratzu quickly. Kratzu just I actually think he's actually right on it because the islands that he sees over the distance there make so much sense. Well, let's see if it's going to be true or not. It would be insane with a 4999 into a 5k in the first two rounds. Kodiak, Sula. same island, but further towards the east. Yes. And that is going to be Kratzu. Almost 5k, one kilometer off. But once again, he has yet to be under 4,997 in the first rounds. Round three. We saw in the Blinky game with Kratzu versus Blinky, we saw an impressive performance with him in Kazakhstan. Can he keep it up? Let's see here if they can uh, get the info they need. Plenty of space to maneuver as they sit in the back of that truck, moving their way out towards some of the bigger streets. Both players looking. I'm not sure. You know, Kodiak, I think, has spent a lot of time recently playing with other players, trying to learn what he can for this. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if Kazakhstan is one of the things that he took a lot of time learning. And from the games that we saw with Blinky. Katsu is stuck in a kind of rural uh, urban area. Wants to get out of the main streets, but stuck on small dirt roads. These houses, not really a whole lot of science or info to go off of. We'll see if he can make it back out in the open. He resets the game completely. Wants to go back out to the main streets now, but Kodiak is already sending it down the main streets looking for crucial information. Yeah, he just broke 20 laws and speed limits. <laughs> I mean, how fast he was just... He flew through cars. I mean, that's... Definitely, definitely something wrong with that. As he moves his way further down, but still not the info Looking he wants. To now the zooming comes. He's going, he's locking his city, and it's going to be a different city than where Kratzu is. Time's multiplier. This could be huge for Kodiak if he has some info that he wants to go off. And he does! Perfect position there. Almost 5k once more. And look at the amount of damage. Now it's not just reset. It's not just even. Now Kodiak is ahead. With momentum. And that's again it. You only get so many chances to beat a guy like Kratz, so he's been so incredibly good throughout. And now finally, when he's off by if a bit, this, Kodiak finds if it. If you get this moving game under your belt, oh, it, he feels more confident going in to no move. This is beautiful. We have the Philippines here, and Kratz is reading that to see if there's anything provincial in the Philippines, and he's going to lose on. Fast. He's locking it in. Doesn't want to give Kodiak any chance to find additional info. He has 12 more seconds. are insanely good. That's the city as well. Back and they both got there. They both got there. Using different information, but they both got there. Good read, good read. Can he find the position? Exactly, Kodiak looking towards the mountains on the western side. Nope, it was out towards the east. <coughs> this is going to be minimal damage, but again, I mean, both of them sat at plus 4,900. These guys are playing phenomenal games. Yep, yeah, I'm keeping the pace high. You should, as you should. They're in the zone. Let's keep them there. the auto zone. They are feeling it right now, and for Kodiak, I mean, again, he needs to win this match to not be out of the tournament. He's Kratzo, getting another chance here. He could bring it home right here. He could make his way to the grand finals against the party Locked if in. he wins this game. So basically, looks like Luzon. Let's see if he's going to be Kratzo right. He will also go right there. 
He has yet to zoom in. Five more seconds to work with. You gotta start getting the map up and open. Now he goes there, no, zooms in. That's south. far south. Is he gonna adjust? It's, he goes even further away. It's and it's actually closer to Kratzu. 2K. We're halfway through both of the players around the half HP mark. They have been battling blow for blow as we now find ourselves in round six. Here's the location here. We're, in, we're gonna be in Thailand here, driving left with the Thai script, obviously. And we do have a snake trap on this pole mm -hmm. to our left. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Kodak might have seen that. You do get snake traps mainly more in the Southern Peninsula. You also get scattered throughout Isan and other places. Is that a terminology for something else? Or is it actual snake traps? Yeah, uh, We call it snake traps. I think it is just a snake trap. Kodak has found, oh, great information there by Kratzu and his peninsula. And he's in Renang right here. Is he he's on moving the money? He's, he's moving going right on this time. The north locks it in again. Kodiak, he hasn't been the one to do the quick login in, in this match, but now they're both up here. Do they both have the info needed in order to find this? But 3.5 times damage. This could hurt if Kratzer goes further away, which he does. He's going to continue. Many points, it's not very many points. It's not. But well, oh. what a road guess there. But still, not very many points. Still, though, still it's 400. Could have been just 100, but he kept creeping further towards the east, like the national park there, and you find it in the end. Toby, you know it's a fitting way for Kratzu to get a lot of points and potentially bring himself to the finals? I feel like we're going somewhere towards the west of Germany then. We are. Let's go. Let's see if you can bring it home. He had a loss in France yesterday. Let's see if maybe uh, maybe the Frenchman can get something going here. Maybe the blue sticker on the tough and pole. Good indicator for France. Kodiak also a very talented moving player in France. Oh. He's <gasps> instant in Okay, Marseille instantly locked in. Kratzo now on the money. 10 seconds left to play with. Let's see what he can find. He has plenty of time to move, but Kodiak barely even moved his camera at all Both before locking it in. We're going to round nine. Round eight. It's simply no time for Kratzo. Can't get it fast enough. They're both going to be evenly close, but that was insanely fast. 12. <sighs> and it's looking to round eight here. As we keep the pace high, this will bring us to round nine because this is free. We have Hokkaido Cabbage, Hokkaido Arrows, the arrow pointing down. You say free, but under pressure, in a LAN environment, in a studio, he said, even nah. the best players can make mistakes. They can, but they won't blunder this. I'll tell you that. Like, this Are is you a, trying to curse them? Is that what we're seeing? If you blunder this, you deserve <laughs> to blunder this, I think. Fair enough. Not only off of the info you were just saying, do you have good info, but now there's a street sign as well with both road names and the numbers indicating both cities and uh, the exact streets to look for. So as you're saying, should be low points in this one. As but mentioned. you can't pick up any points and that those points do matter. Yes, definitely. Definitely do. And you can Even see both players will take all 20 seconds here to try yeah. and find the road. When I say Blunder, they, they're going to know where in Hokkaido they are. Aim for the 5k with 4.5 multipliers. I mean, even for the Kaido, uh, big kind enough of island that you can be far with. Yeah, exactly. North. exactly. This could be very dangerous. Three, uh, 2,300 health for Kodiak. This could be game if he's too far away. If Kratzwell is somehow 5 k it, it could potentially be game over for Kodiak. Let's see who's going to find it. No one. It's Kodiak is close up, but it's small Kratzu damage. Closer here, actually. Oh, Kratzel, sorry. But it's small damage. Small damage. I think we'll keep that trend going. And Taiwan. Taiwan? Right? Do we have the intent? We do. Yeah, this is a crazy Taiwan. NMPZ, I'm not sure you have Taiwan here. But round nine, this is moving. Er, yeah, this is moving. Yes, it is. And, you know, the thing about French players in the community is French players are very good at moving. And they, they know a lot of things. And Kodiak, you can see the reaction on his face. Wait. Oh, he's going Hong Kong? Nope. Oh. Oh, I like it, actually. I like it. That's why it looks Micro like they're Taiwan. Micro Island, just south yeah, of Bushan. Yep. Did they both get that? Yeah, they both. They Seems both get like they in. do. Yep. Seems like they do. A round 10, a final round for Kodiak. He needs to get points. Hopefully some here and then a ton in the next one. It's going to once again be Kratzo to get the win on it. It's only 45 points, but again, keep in mind, Kodiak has to have more health left remaining after this next round is over, or else he is out of the tournament. He's out of the tournament and Kratzu advances to the finals against the Podic. Exactly. There's one round away separating Kratzu in the finals and Kodiak in the lobby. And it's not even that far away that they need a massive country just big enough to not be able to insta 5k it. It just has to have some distance, some region uncertainty. What if I told you Kodiak's? <sighs> give it to us. Kodiak, give let us me, something. Let me tell you, what if I told you that Kodiak's European regional finals here comes down to the Oi Bruvs. 
Let's see it. Let's see if he can bring it home. Let's get these players back on Yo. and see if he can win this one. And I mean, I say win it, but stay alive. If Kratzu takes this one, as long as Kratzu does not lose more than 1,513 HP, he is going to be okay. Oh, they're zooming in. Alpha zoom. Is it a quick luck? Is it a quick luck? He's, He's also going. Carfax. Full gamble. All in. He's, the cards are on the table. He's just waiting for the last giving one to the, return. Giving Kratzu 10 seconds advantage here. But is it worth Five. It? Four. Similar They're reasons. five hot. Is, is it, it ever enough, enough though? If he if he's super close, he goes for the way. There's five on five. It's going to be enough. Yes. Quick maths, is it? It's no! not! Kodiak loses just a couple of points off, but Kratzo with an impressive 3-0, but takes both the moving games out and he stays in it. He will make the grand finals against Topotic. I mean, what a game! A Kretsu to Pollock finals is not anything anyone ever saw coming.